Uh, Doug Weiland, I'm a sports medicine specialist, orthopedic surgeon uh, here at Stephen Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. Uh, I graduated from University of North Carolina, so I'm, I'm a kind of a tar heel deep in my heart, but I went to Duke for my orthopedic surgery training and then on to uh, spend some time with Dr. Hawkins and Dr. Stedman in Vail for my sports medicine fellowship. Uh, met my wife uh, in medical school at UNC Chapel Hill and she's a neonatologist. Uh, we live here in Greenville. Uh, I've been practicing for about nine years now. The first part of my practice was in Denver, Colorado at Stedman Hawkins Clinic there and then the last five years uh, here in Greenville area. High school wrestling in Pennsylvania was, was enormous and uh, uh, Pittsburgh was a particular hotbed in wrestling. I, I, I wrestled in high school. Uh, I, I achieved pretty high goals in high school and in college. Uh, uh, I was a state champion in Pennsylvania in wrestling. Uh, I accepted full scholarship offers at uh, various places. Uh, I selected University of Michigan, ended up finishing my career at University of North Carolina. Uh, I was able to achieve uh, two-time All-American uh, status and I wrestled in the national finals. Um, although, probably the biggest lesson I learned uh, was the adversity through my junior and senior years. Even though I was All-American those two years, uh, I had some disappointment. And uh, I faced uh, some physical uh, disappointment when I injured my knee in the national finals my junior year and ended up losing the match. And uh, psychological disappointment in my senior year, being undefeated and losing in the quarterfinals. Um, through, through those kind of trials and tribulations and the three workouts a day, and uh, all the workouts when nobody's watching, uh, you, you learn uh, through adversity uh, that there's more to this than just individual uh, accomplishment. Uh, you learn that it's a team approach uh, to getting back from an injury. Uh, after I had the knee injury, I had a phenomenal trainer and a therapist and a surgeon that took care of me. Mm. Well, I chose medicine, uh, really specifically orthopedic surgery, uh, within the field of medicine uh, because of my interest in, in, in engineering. And it, I went right from engineering to uh, my interest in biology and anatomy and my curiosity for the human body, and then boom, right to human carpentry, which is orthopedic surgery. Uh, so human carpentry is essentially engineering of the body. And uh, the sub area that I'm really interested in is, is, uh, is engineering, microengineering, if you will, of uh, cartilage and joints. I think one of the most important things that a patient should um, feel uh, going into the decision-making process for surgery or, or not to go through surgery is, is a sensation of confidence that they've made the right decision, that they feel confident in their plan, that they're directed, that they're responsible for their plan, and, and there's going to be a goal to be achieved. Um, uh, as a surgeon, I'm just one component of, of a person's plan. Uh, a patient may need the surgeon to help with the, the inside part of their joint, their knee or their ankle or their shoulder. But at the end of the day, uh, I've really got to rally the troops around the patient. And the troops may include the nutritionist or the physical therapist or the wellness uh, uh, specialist, or they, it might include uh, some counseling, some type of uh, counseling on weight control or sm smoking uh, cessation. Y you might think that the highlight of my career so far as a team physician has been taking care of the Colorado Rockies and working with the Denver Broncos with my partners when I was in Denver. Um, so I moved to South Carolina and uh, actually we're taking care of quite a number of high schools. And perhaps, perhaps the, the, the pinnacle of that is taking care of uh, athletes from the School for the Deaf and Blind uh, here, right here in the upstate in Spartanburg. Uh, these are athletes that uh, are hearing impaired or uh, sight impaired and yet they're participating in volleyball or football or baseball. Uh, what an amazing example those, those kids are to my own kids. I, I love what I do. I, I, I love seeing the expression on a patient's face when six or eight or ten weeks later or three months later they say, you know, that pain that I had before, it's just not there any, anymore, Doc. Uh, that's an incredible gratifying feeling for not just myself but for our staff. Uh, they love to see those patients come in and roll out with a smile on their face, knowing that uh, the team approach uh, really hit a home run for that patient. That doesn't happen by accident. It happens with a lot of passion. It happens with a lot of attention to detail and, and being meticulous and, and persistent and persevering to that conclusion and that goal.